All right, TFJ, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's going on, guys? We are here for uh, showing you guys how to get a little pump on the chest. So you don't have to go to the gym. We know that already. Obviously, if you're here on That's Good Money's channel, then you understand that. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an instructional of what you should be paying attention to when you're working your chest, uh, specific exercises that you can follow, and let's do that. So number one, we're gonna start with just the standard, and I wanna point out some of these exercises are more of the moderate to advanced, so just be careful with that. Uh, know your, le your limits, know your level, and do the modifications that are appropriate for you. So right now what we're gonna do, um, diamond push-ups. So diamond push-ups, you're gonna feel them a lot in your triceps, but they are working your chest as well. The main thing that you wanna focus on is getting that full extension at the top. Full extension, that press. So what we're gonna do, as you see completely locked out at the beginning, we come down, meet the chest, and you push all the way up. I'm getting a squeeze. It's not a micro bend at all. We're squeezing all the way down, squeeze, down, squeeze down, squeeze, down, squeeze. So as you're doing that, you're actually gonna feel it. If you're just doing shallow, uh, limited range of motion push-ups, you're gonna feel it a lot in your triceps, but you're not gonna really feel it where you wanna feel it for this specific exercise, which is the chest. Now we're gonna move up to an elevated surface. Um, this is gonna hit more of the lateral fibers of the chest. So you want that more of that, that height, higher chest right here. That's what this is gonna do right here. So. Uh, you can even height, increase the height. The more you increase the height, obviously the more difficult, and it's gonna hit more of those lateral fibers of the chest. So we're gonna go here, and then another point I wanna point out is where our hands are a little bit wider than before. We get that full range. I don't know if that's pissed, so I'm gonna slide down a little bit. So my palms are facing outwards. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. You want to make it a little bit more um, advanced. Pike the hips a little bit. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze. And then you'll also be hitting front delts. When you're doing push-ups, you're automatically hitting front delts, but you're hitting more front delts and mid delts when you change that uh, leverage point there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move over to the dip bar here. Let me just grab this. And when you're doing dips, there's two things that kind of are going on. If you're totally erect, straight like that, you're gonna be hitting more of your triceps. If you wanna be hitting chest, yo bam. If you wanna be hitting chest, you wanna have a slight lean. So that's what we're gonna do. Instead of being straight up like that, we're gonna lean slightly forward, down, squeeze. And another thing, be mindful of the neck position. You don't want to have your neck up like that or too far forward. We're going to move down a little bit here so we have a uh, more face, clear face view me, of what's face going Face me, face me, face me. Yeah, so what, we're going, what, we're, what I'm explaining here, be mindful of your neck position. There's a, a condition called neurogia. I'm going to try and not make it too scientific, but basically you're going to feel tingling and whatnot in your extremities of your limbs, like your fingers and whatnot, because you're cutting off that electrical signal. So you want to make sure you have your neck in a relatively neutral position. Neutral position, down, leaning forward. Down, leaning forward. Don't go too low where you're putting too much stress on your shoulders. Uh, shoulders are extremely easy to get injured, so we wanna be mindful of that. We're controlling the descent, the eccentric motion. Squeeze, push up. Neutral head position, push up. Neutral head position, pull, push up. Those three main exercises that I just showed you there, you can't go wrong with that. Another thing I want to point out is make sure you switch up the hand movement, the, the hand positions. So regular on the floor, you could do them like that. Rock your body forward. As you see, I'm coming forward like that. Narrow. So there's all types of variations. You want to make sure, just like how you would be doing if you were lifting weights, you're doing isolated uh, movements, unilateral movements, perform the same thing when you're doing that with calisthenics. 
All you have to do is understand the science behind it. Once you understand the science behind it, you grow your body, you build your body how you want it to grow. So uh, that's it for now. All right, thanks a lot. Irwin. Yeah. <laughs> right, so many names, I know, right? It's like the fitness journals, TFJ, Irwin, TFJ. all of them, all of them. Whatever you all want to call me, TFJ, the fitness journals, Irvin Felix, Sean, yeah. whatever you know me as. Uh, if you see me in person, I understand what it is. All right, man, let them know how to follow you, man. So you can hit me up, the fitness journals, LLC, on YouTube, on Instagram, TFJ underscore CEO. Health is wealth, get money. Shout out to my boy. That's good money. Thank you, my brother. That's it. All right.